Hey guys, I'm Dr. Aaron Horshig, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to perform the perfect back extension. Get up and get down, get up and get down. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking the video out today. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to perform the perfect back extension. Now, the back extension is a staple exercise in a lot of weightlifters accessory movements, specifically for strengthening the back. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you guys today about how it's often done incorrectly, and then show you guys a quick modification so how you can do this movement safely and get the most out of it. Now, we're gonna be using a GHD machine today. This movement is often performed off one of these or a Roman chair which is at a 45 degree angle, but the same idea applies. Now, when most people get under this, they have the foot rest set way back here. Now, when they get up here, they're gonna have the pads set at their hip level. When they go down, if you watch my back, it rounds and then they come back up to here, either to parallel or they hyper extend their back, they overarch their back. Now, why is this not a good idea? As we go back under load and round the spine and then come back out of it, even if I just go to parallel, what we're doing is we're taking that spine and we're rounding it and we're extending it under load by contracting our muscles. Now, in the sport of weightlifting, powerlifting, CrossFit, whenever we're trying to pick up a heavy load, our goal is to stabilize that spine, lock it in place, and move about the hips. Even take a power lifter who has a semi-rounded spine on a deadlift. We don't want more movement to occur in the spine as he lifts the deadlift. We want to lock that spine in place, even if it has a slight round due to his body position, the technique that he's employing, and we wanna move entirely about the hips. So why would I want to do an exercise that creates movement at the spine? We want to then use and incorporate the idea of stability to limit movement at the spine while we move about the hips with this exercise. So your number one fix for having a better back extension exercise is to actually make it hip centric. Here's how you do that. You're gonna take the rest, your foot support for the movement, and you're going to move it a little bit closer. Now, if you're using a Roman chair while you're doing this, just lower the pads for your pelvis. But if you're using a GHD machine, this is one from Roke, you're just gonna pull the foot support a little bit closer. Now, whenever you do that and you get into it, notice how far past the edge of my pelvis is. It's much further past the edge of the support for my pelvis. Now, from right here, when I go down, Look how far I can lower and still keep my back flat. I'm not forced to have to round my back as I go down. So I'm going to lower as far as I can to keep my back flat. Then I'm going to move about my pelvis up to neutral, maybe a slight extension, and then back down. Now, the second tip that I want you guys to do is not hyperextend. I don't want you to take it all the way up there. If you think about, a number of injuries occur specifically in the sport of weightlifting because of overextension of the spine. Now, the type of injuries that occur due to this, like a spondy, are more common in gymnastics, but actually used to be fairly common in the sport of weightlifting. Back in the day, in the 50s and 60s, when they used to have the clean and press as one of the weightlifting movements in competition, we actually saw a very high incident of spondy injuries. And that's where we have a fracture of the pars anticularis, so part of the spine, that is due to overextension and loading of the spine in this position. And a lot of weightlifters back in the day would cheat a little bit and they'd get here, and instead of doing just a strict press, they'd use a little bit of down and back up, overarching that low back. Now, in weightlifting, yes, we do want a slight amount of extension, a locked in spine, but we don't want to move into overextension of that back. What you're doing is just putting your back in a bad position again, just like flexion movement or rounding excessively of the spine. It's not ideal whenever we're trying to keep our spine safe and resilient to injury and allow us to transfer that force from our legs into the movement of the barbell. So again, you're gonna wanna come up and stay within that neutral zone. Now don't think neutral is one specific area. It's a range. I don't want a lot of extension. I don't want a lot of flexion. I wanna stay somewhat in the middle of that. So when you're doing a GHD or a Roman chair back extension, tip one, I don't want flexion at the bottom. That depends on where the rest is for your pelvis. 
get it back enough to where when you get all the way down to the bottom, your back is still flat. Make it hip centric. So move about your hips, not your low back. And at the very top, you're gonna want to stay slightly neutral, maybe a little bit of extension. And if you watch the best athletes in the world, you're gonna see they don't overextend a lot. You're gonna come up and you're gonna hold it for a couple seconds. Again, you're gonna add in a static stability hold. And this is gonna make it more than just a dynamic exercise, but also a little bit of static stabilizing, which is even one step further. So what I want you to do is watch how I do a couple of these. I'm even gonna put a barbell on my back to show you guys how I would use these. And then we'll go from there. So we're getting in, pelvis is over the seat edge. I'm going to lower, keep my core braced. I'm gonna take the barbell, put it on my back. From here, up, down. I can even add in one, two, three, four, five. Down and back. Now when I'm doing that, again, that's a tough exercise, but I'm really gonna be feeling my hamstrings and my glutes. They're creating the movement at the hips. They're dynamically stabilizing and moving the hips while my core is the one that's stabilizing the spine and not allowing any movement. This is a great exercise for weightlifters, but if you have any history of back injury, I highly caution jumping straight to this. Go get checked out first by a medical practitioner or a sports physical therapist just to make sure that this exercise is safe for your back because it can put a lot of harmful loads because you're really, really working those back extensors. So if you have a prior history of injury, we wanna make sure that this is a good and safe exercise for you. So hope you guys like today's video. You have a little bit better understanding for how to perform the back extension, whether it's off of the Roman chair or the GHD machine like we did today. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, or if there's something you wanna learn about in next week's video. Happy squatting guys. They say that. Energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching? So caught up in their egos, these people.